Hello everyone, welcome to part 131 of advanced e-com series in Laravel 8. Uh, so we will continue working on the order placement process and in this video we are going to work on the thanks page that will come after the order placement. Okay, so in last video we have seen that we able to place the order and the order uh, comes, order details comes in the orders table as well as in the order product table main info of the order comes in the orders table and uh, product info comes in the order underscore products table and now after placing the order after going to check out and after placing the order uh, we are going to show the thanks page after clicking on this one after inserting uh, these details in orders table we are going to show the thanks page so we are going to work on that uh, we will open the checkout here see uh, we have uh, uh, see uh, from here uh, okay so this uh, this is the test mode i'm going to close this one uh, i am going to open uh, that uh, my folder ecoms ecom folder okay so i will open product controller here and we'll go like this and go in checkout and here we have done like this okay order place die and here now uh, i want that if the order is cod then we will redirect the, the user to thanks page but before that we are going to put the order id in session variable see we are having the grand total in session variable also we require order id to be placed under session variable okay so that we can use it in thanks page as well okay so we will uh, put the order id in uh, session variable as well i'm going to put here insert order id in session variable uh, we can also put it uh, before this one like this session put order id dollar order id so now uh, see we have added order id in section variable and now we can redirect the user to cod page if dollar data payment method payment gateway payment gateway equal to equal to cod then uh, we are going to redirect the user to thanks page else uh, see uh, here uh, prepaid methods will come like paypal other payment gateway then we are going to uh, work on that but we will just write prepaid method coming soon okay in case if another payment gateway will get selected okay then uh, we uh, will not do anything if in case other payment gateway get selected we can simply uh, will not process the order in the beginning as well c payment gateway cod else payment method so we can do one thing here uh, if in case payment gateway uh, uh, is not cod then we uh, will not allow to process so uh, here we will do something equal to cod else uh, in case of prepaid we will simply do coming soon die here only we can put the message now uh, we can check once like uh, if we will select the payment gateway paypal here like this then it will show the coming soon message okay because uh, still uh, we are only working on cod still we are not working on this prepaid so we can do like this okay so here the payment gateway uh, urls will come that we will do later on uh, when we will start working on the payment gateway now here we are reacting the user to thanks page okay so we are going to create the thanks page uh, but first of all we are going to create its route then its function then thanks page okay thanks blade file so let's create the uh, thanks page 
after this one we are going to create the thanks page okay so yeah after this one thanks route get here thanks Rux controller generate of thanks so now in press controller we are going to create the thanks function here we can create it here this one public function thanks the, the user card here see uh, we are going to empty the co user card in thanks page instead of uh, empty the user card here we are going to empty the user card in thanks page but uh, because that is common for all okay because every time user is the thanks page it means uh, user uh, uh, has already processed the order so uh, that's why we are going to uh, make the uh, uh, make the card empty in thanks page and after this one we will uh, here return view front dot products dot thanks now we are going to create the thanks blade file so we are going to create the thanks blade file uh, inside ecom resources views front products and uh, uh, here i'm going to create the thanks thanks paste that down here thanks 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 okay so here now uh, we are going to uh, we'll see what is required uh, rest of the code we can remove uh, thanks uh, we require uh, uh, yeah we require that uh, that also uh, this one also required we can take the copy of this one instead okay this looks better yeah no 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 uh, we can just uh, do like this this one we can keep here and this one instead of checkout we can put here thanks we can do in caps also thanks like this and here also we can put the thanks and this one is not required we can remove this everything we can move So uh, rest of this one is also not required. We can move this. okay thanks thanks will come up here oh, will come and this form we are going to remove and here now here we are going to add a div line center okay so yeah now uh, we are going to uh, add the message here uh, first uh, we can add the message in h3 tag uh, like uh, this is the cod order uh, like uh, if the order is uh, no not cod we will uh, do like this your uh, 
uh, order uh, has been placed successfully your order has been placed successfully okay and after this one we can add one p tag your order number is uh, now see uh, we require the session variable session variable and here we require session get order id Already will come up here. Uh, your order number is Sitna and total uh, payable. Uh, see here, uh, yeah, uh, we will write like total amount or grand and grand total is uh, that grand total is INR, okay, or whatever currency you are using. Session. Here we can do get uh, grand total, okay. So now we can check, uh, we can place the order and we'll check uh, that thanks page appear or not. Put the COD place order, your order has been placed successfully, your order number is 3 and grand total is INR 540 okay so it looks fine our thanks page has come after placing the order now uh, we need to do one thing more uh, we uh, see if someone refresh this page uh, then we need to show the card page we will not show this page again and again uh, so one thing uh, we need to uh, forget the session here as well okay we will forget the order id and grand total session here so in thanks page itself so after displaying this one this much information we are going to forget both session forget uh, grand total and also forget order id okay so both we are going to forget both grand total as well as order id okay so after uh, this one uh, you will see that if someone will refresh then uh, see if someone will refresh then your order number is gone away grand total also gone away because we have already forgot uh, this grand total and order id because the order has been already placed so uh, in this case we need to redirect the user back to the card page if the user refresh the thanks page again okay so in this case uh, we need to redact the user to thanks page and for that uh, we uh, need to update thanks function once again we need to check uh, if sh if session if the uh, session is having order id or not okay so we will do like this if session has order id then empty the user card here then this one will come up uh, so this code is will come up here inside uh, if uh, the session uh, is not empty if session is having order id uh, then it means then uh, we can redact the user to the thanks page okay if session is not empty it means if session is not empty then we can redact the user we can empty the car and if in case uh, session does not have any value session does not have order id order id session does not exist at all okay then we will uh, return the user to card page return redirect then we are going to redirect the user to the card page okay if order id session does not exist at all then we are going to uh, redirect the user to card page so i am going to refresh and we'll see here see now the user has been redirected to card page okay 
so now we are going to place one more order and let's check casual t-shirt we can add sorry we can add any of the product here with medium okay so this one is added oh, we will add one more uh, casual t-shirt i'm going to add the red casual t-shirt now select the size add to card you can see the two uh, two products have been added and now i will update the quantity as well two quantity and one quantity order total is 1560 so i am going to place the order now uh, with 1560 total with having two items for the first time i'm going to place the order with the two items maybe earlier also we have placed the order order with the two items yeah earlier also okay so now see uh, 1560 is the grand total we are going to check once that whether is uh, whether the order is coming fine or not i'm going to open both orders and orders products table okay so let's see and also we are going to check that the thanks page will come up or not see order total is 1560 okay so let's see place order so order total is 1560 that is correct and order number is 4 okay so now i'm going to refresh the orders table here the order id is 4 that is fine and order total i'm going to check now and that must be 1560 see order total is also 1560 and it's the cod order okay payment method is cod payment gateway is cod there is no shipping charges so so far we will add it later on uh, but rest uh, of the things seems to be fine now we will check the order products table as well there are two products see the order id is for for both the uh, or, uh, product okay so these are the product btg01 rc01 okay so blue casual t-shirt red casual t-shirt blue and red okay so here is the price and uh, we can see the final price here as well final price is uh, 1560 here and uh, its uh, prices uh, that are coming up here uh, that are uh, we can see 540 and 510 okay so uh, there is some kind of gap seems to be there so we need to check once again uh, i'm going to add the products once again medium uh, 540 and after that okay so there is quantity also okay so we are going to check the quantity also and uh, here see yeah quantity of this one is 2 so 510 into 2 and that will, uh, will be uh, uh something uh 1020 okay so 1020 plus uh, 540 okay so uh, this much total uh, 1020 plus 540 it's 1560 so that is correct that is correct because there is the quantity 2 so 510 into 2 must be there okay and 5 and plus 540 so this one is correct okay so 1560 total is coming that is correct so uh, this information is right in both the tables uh, so in next video uh, we are going to show the orders in my account we are going to create here uh, orders tab also and or we can show it here as well okay after contact or we can bring the contact here down somewhere okay contact is already there we can move the contact we can show the orders here as well okay so uh, we can show all the orders here and we will show the order detail as well and after displaying the order in user account uh, we will also display the order in the admin panel okay then continue with the invoice and we'll also do the shipping part shipping charges and other things as well okay so stay tuned for that so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye